Hi, fancy meeting you here today. Especially when I thought I would never make a video again. <laughs> That's what happens when life gets in your way and things happen in your life that are unexpected. So as a lot of you may know, uh, some of you may not, um, my last video was actually in December. So it's been over six months since I have recorded a video for you guys. And the reason being, I had something happen uh, medically. So just to start off by saying everything's fine. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what happened. Also, I have a new microphone, so if you like its sound, let me know in the comments, please. Also, I would appreciate if you would have a request of some sort, if you've been wanting to see me do a video of a certain type, then please let me know down in the comments. I will put it on my list, and that really helps me try to come up with ideas. I mean... As crea creators, we're constantly, yeah, that hasn't changed. <laughs> Messing up my words. Um, anyhow, yeah, as creators, we kind of can, you know, go into a slump or um, need some help. Um, a lot of the times we have ideas racing through our minds, and that's all good too. But I do like to uh, get, you know, requests from you guys just to kind of help me out a bit. Okay. So anyways, getting back to this medical thing, and I'm pointing here because this is the area where it happened. So in October of last year, just to sidestep for a bit here, uh, the reason why I'm explaining, you know, what went on is because I know when I watch other people on YouTube, if I'm concerned about them because they're, they're gone or anything, I so appreciate when they come back on and they let me know, not that they have to, you know, and I don't feel that I have to. I feel that I want to because I want anybody who was worried about me to know that, you know, what was going on um, and that I'm okay. So anyway, plus you'll learn a little something. We, You know, you can never learn enough, right? So, as I was saying, back in October, I um, got up in the middle of the night. It was really pitch black. And as per usual, I'm in such a hurry to do things, I slammed off a corner of my wall that juts out in my bedroom. And I mean slam. I literally bounced off of it. And I remember thinking to myself, you know, remember this, because you're going to be black and blue in the morning. And funny enough, I wasn't. And I thought, hmm, that's really strange. And then a few days later, this little bruise, very, very light in color, showed up. And I thought, oh, okay. And then a couple days after that, I was kind of feeling the area. I'm going to show it to you guys. And I'm also going to make a um, disclaimer or whatever that if you're triggered by anything medical, because I'm going to show you my scar, you know, turn away or turn the video off or whatever you feel like you need to do. But it just, I'll give you warning when I'm going to show it. Okay. But if you're like me and you're interested in medical things like that, it's not gross. Nothing like that, at least to me. So <laughs> anyhow. Okay. So, um, I felt a lump and it was about the size of a chickpea. And I thought, well, that's weird. I have a lump, right? So then a little time goes by and I'm thinking, ah, it'll just go away. You know, things like that, right? But it didn't. And my husband was saying, you know, I really, really would love if you went in and got that checked by the doctor. So, um, about another month went by. So now we're in December and it's not, um, going away. And I thought maybe I better go and see the doctor. I'm sure it's nothing, you know. So I go and see my doctor. He feels it. It, You know, you could move it. So that's supposed to be a good sign. It was round. That's supposed to be another good sign. And um, it was, there wasn't any pain with it. So that's supposed to be another good sign. So, um, okay, so that's all good. So my doctor says, you know, 
let's just order an ultrasound just to be totally sure that it's, you know, that it's okay. He said, I feel it is. But he said, let's just do a test and see. So I go in for the ultrasound and the technician that did the ultrasound, I guess you call them technicians? Yeah, I would think. Anyways, she went off and got the other technician. He comes in and I'm like, hmm, this is strange. She's needing a second opinion, obviously. So um, he says, I don't know what this is, which, you know, you always want to hear. <laughs> so anyhow, let's count how many times I say so anyhow. Um, so he's, you know, he's checking it and I'm, I'm looking at it on the screen and he's like, yeah. He goes, you know, I'm the type of doctor that if I think it's cancer, I will say, I, uh, this looks kind of suspicious. He goes, I can't say that. He said, I think what I'm willing to say right now is that it's very, very low on the scale of it being cancerous. But he said, I just don't know what this is. And um, so anyways, he says, I want to do a biopsy, which of course I wanted them to do anyways. Actually, I just wanted them to remove it. But he said, you know, we'll do a biopsy. They're going to want to remove it anyways, probably. But he said, let's just do a biopsy for now and see what's what's what. So January comes around because, of course, we had Christmas holidays and, and stuff. And I was booked in the beginning of January for a biopsy, which was very interesting. Uh, went in there and they freeze the area. They put, again... Uh, you know, trigger warning, anybody that doesn't like any medical information, turn the sound down or something. Um, so they, you know, they did the, um, the needle biopsy. It's called a core biopsy. And um, it's this long needle, you're frozen, can't feel a thing. You know, they do it. I actually watched it on the screen. It was very fascinating. Um, and so he takes the sample and he said, okay, um, probably seven to 10 business days. I forgot how much I sweat under these lights. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, so, uh, so they send the biopsy away. Now where they sent it was about an hour from where I live. Um, they, and they're very reputable hospital. They checked it and, um, I kept calling my doctor because, you know, even though I, I really did feel that it was nothing to worry about. I started to get worried when I kept calling like 10 days later, no news back. Two weeks later, no news back. And I'm like, what the heck is going on, right? A month later, no news. And then they, my doctor contacted the hospital to see what the heck was going on. Well, they couldn't figure out what it was either. But in the list of things was nodular fasciitis, low-grade sarcoma, which we all know what that means, and um, one other thing, I can't remember what that was now. Anyways, a couple of things were benign, and of course, the low-grade uh, sarcoma is not benign, as we know. So, um, they sent it off to um, Mount Sinai Hospital, which is in Toronto, and um, it Again, I'm waiting and waiting six weeks later of worrying. I finally get an answer that it is the nodular fasciitis. And this was from the um, chief of surgery of oncology at, the, at that hospital. Very well renowned um, hospital for, um, you know, cancer and anything really. It's, it's got a huge research department. So the doctor said, the surgeon said, no surgery is needed. It, it would probably go away on its own. But if it was bothering me, no problem in getting it removed. Um, so, oh, of course, I was like hugely relieved. So if you look up the, what the lump is, nodular fasciitis, it's a very rare lump of course, can be caused by injury. Mm -hmm. And it mimics cancer. 
So the cells inside of the lump um, look like cancer cells. So this is why it took so long because they had to be really, really sure that it wasn't. And anyhow, so I opted to have it removed because it was sitting right where my bra strap is and it would rub on it. So it was very uncomfortable, you know, it didn't hurt, but it was just, you know, would get irritated. So I thought, well, what the heck? Plus, who the heck wants this lump in their body? I don't. So uh, that's what they did. They removed it. Now, warning, <laughs> I'm going to show where it was. Okay. And I, I just want everybody to know that it's always good to get something like that checked out, even though it scared the wits out of me. And not only that, I just want to say we lost our dear friend, Sassy Snacks. And the morning that she died, I just found out about an hour before I went in for my surgery that she had passed away. So all of this was happening at the same time. And it was just, yeah, um, Anyways, you know, keep her, keep her family in our thoughts. You never know what to say. Anyway, trigger warning, trigger warning. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. I hope you can see it. Okay. So yeah, I don't think I need to point it out. You can see it. So there it is. And the lump was right in the center. I don't know. You can see it kind of dips in there a bit. So it was right there. And, uh, so anyhow, that was a fun experience too, because I was awake for the whole thing. And uh, one good thing, the doctor was very, very thorough. And he also took out, of course, surrounding tissue, which is really good. Now here's the, here's the thing. Here's the kicker, as some people like to say. I still don't have the results back from the lump. That was from March 10th. Yeah because it went through the whole thing all over again where it got sent to the first hospital they of course put down you know it could be this that the other they don't know what it is because it's such a rare thing of course they're not going to look at my biopsy first off I wouldn't think because they want it to be you know they don't want anything to influence what their their findings are this is what I'm thinking anyways Oh, my doctor, I just can't even believe it, like how long it's taken. Anyways, um, so they've sent it down to Mount Sinai. I still haven't heard because of, you know, my doctor being away, this and that. But anyway, I know that everything's fine. It was already said it was fine. And let's just get on with everything, shall we? <laughs> so please, please um, stay with me. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Click the like buttons on my videos, please, please. That would be very much appreciated. And don't forget to click, to click, to click the little um, bell icon because um, that's that way you'll be notified. And I noticed now that they have more of a customized one, so you can click for all or just some or whatever. So that would be very much appreciated. I'm so happy to be back again. And I'm going to be doing, you know, the, the same type of videos that I've done in the past that I think some of you have liked, I hope. Um, you know, the role plays, um, the magazine readings. I'm really, really thinking I do want to start doing the birthday ones again. I love doing that. And I love giving you guys a shout out. Let me know in the comments if you would like that. If you would like a shout out in the month of your birthday. Or if we've passed it already, being this this is July already. We had our Canada Day celebrations this weekend. Um, yesterday was Canada Day, July 1st. And uh, yeah, so let's just enjoy the ride, shall we? We shall. Okay, so until I see you next time, thank you so much for being here. I hope we're going to have some fun together. I'm sure we will. And uh, yeah, until next time. Bye-bye.